China and Israel, our bilateral economic relations has thrived in the past three decades, and now China is the largest trading partner of Israel in Asia. The two sides are actually studying the possibility of a free trade talk. So going forward, what is your outlook for bilateral economic relations this year? Yes, we have been uh, looking forward for another good year, uh, 2023, in our bilateral uh, economic relations. Last year, uh, our bilateral trade reached uh, another high level. Um, we are still waiting for the uh, final official uh, figures from our uh, statistic bureau, but according to the uh, Chinese uh, figures, we reached the level of probably 23 and even beyond, $23 billion. Just to remind all our viewers that uh, 30 years ago, our bilateral trade was around $250 million. So this is uh, definitely quite uh, uh, impressive. We are starting to see Israeli businessmen coming uh, back to China. There are more delegations, uh, business delegations going from China to Israel, as we have seen before COVID. 2019 was the peak of our uh, uh, bilateral tourism and business uh, interaction. 160,000 tourists came to Israel from China. So we would really want to see this resume as well. It will take time. We are still uh, negotiating the free trade agreement uh, with uh, China. It has been uh, a long period of negotiations, uh, over eight years. And uh, let's see where we, we uh, get in uh, our negotiations this year. Speaking of tourism, tourism has been the pillar driver uh, in bilateral relations. How soon do you think that tourism would rebound to pre-pandemic levels now that we know direct flights have been resumed? It will take time. I, I don't think it will uh, uh, bounce back in, in, in the next year. Uh, uh, first and foremost because there are direct flights now to, uh, to Israel, both from Beijing and Shanghai and hopefully from Shenzhen as well. Uh, but um, there are few flights a week. It's not a daily flight. So I, I don't expect we will see high figures of uh, tourists, uh, tourism between our two countries in 2023. Uh, but maybe two years later, three years later. Technology innovation has been critical in driving China-Israel economic relationship. Do you see that would continue to be a major part in our bilateral economic ties going forward? I think so because, you know, uh, Israel has been uh, doing this for the last 30 years and uh, we are really uh, eager to continue uh, this kind of collaboration. Uh, we will focus on the areas that are, are of interest to the uh, Chinese economy. Uh, carbon neutrality is number one pri priority and also food security. And these are two sectors that uh, we uh, have been collaborating with China for quite a while and we will definitely uh, see this collaboration continue. Uh, also the health sector is of interest to us and uh, almost a quarter of the Israeli exports to China are uh, medical uh, technologies, 